fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and the hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. Abigail Miller was a determined, strong-minded woman who ran her ranch and her husband with an iron hand. She stood in the living room of the ranch house facing Marty Collins, the town gambler. I told you before, Marty Collins, you're nothing but a wastrel and a gambler. Ever since my father left me this spread, you've been putting in a claim for a loan you say you gave him some time ago. Now, listen here, Mrs. Miller. I have a just claim for that loan, and I'll take steps to see that... Go right ahead. Take any steps you like. I told you someday I'd find the receipt you gave my father. Well, now I can produce that receipt. Whenever you want to start taking those steps you're talking about. I don't believe you found any such thing. Now, see here, you. If that's your way of saying I'm lying, I'll... Now, now, no need to draw a gun on me. I was just saying if you had a receipt, why don't you show it to me now? I got it. That's all you need to know. Now get out of here and don't come snooping around this spread again. Go on, get. No use arguing with a woman like you. We'll be meeting again, Mrs. Miller. Get out, I say. No good crook. Time he comes around here, I'll show him he's trying to cheat the wrong person. Mama, when is Dad coming home? Land sakes, Johnny. You've been asking me that question all morning. He'll be here when he gets here. And no telling when that'll be. Why are you asking? Dad said he'd have a surprise for me when he came back from town. That's why. (laughs) Him and his promises. You ought to know that father of yours by this time. But this time he really promised. He said it would be a big surprise. Gee, I wish he'd hurry up. Nothing ever hurries that man one way or the other. He's about as much help around here as a shorn lamb. That's what. There he is now, Mama. Dad, Dad, did you bring the surprise? Did you remember that? Oh, <laughs> golly, Dad, a, a golly! He seems to like it, son. Huh? Do you like it? Oh, gee, do I? Here, boy, nice fella. Great day, Chad Miller, our dog, our old dog. Oh, no, Abby, he'll be good company for Johnny and. Oh, Fred isn't he Morris. a beauty, Mom? Isn't he? Where'd you get that animal, Jed? <laughs> get away! Keep your dirty paws off me! <laughs> he won't eat you, Mama. Golly, I always wanted a dog. Jed, I asked you, where'd you get him? Well, now, Abby, you see, I... 
Well, I, I bought him. It didn't cost much, but bought I... Bought him? Do you mean to stand there and tell me you spent our good money for that dog? Oh, it was a little I, I saved, Abby, just a few dollars. So? You've been keeping aside money without me knowing about it, too, huh? Well, you can take that animal right back where you got him and get your money back. Oh, Mom, please. Let me keep him, please. Well, we'll try him out for a few days. But mind you, if he gets to be a nuisance around here, out he goes. I'll get him out of my sight. Several days passed, and Johnny and the dog had become great pals. Come on, boy, come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Come on, boy. 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 Come on, Quiet, Rusty, quiet. I've had all I can stand of that dog. Oh, Mama, we forgot. It was my fault. We were just having fun. I've told you a thousand times in the last few days to keep that dog quiet and to keep him out of this house. Look at the carpet. Look at my clean porch. What's the trouble, Abby? That dog. That's what's the trouble, Jed Miller. And it's all your fault for bringing him home. Now, Abby, calm down and forget about Rusty. I gotta get along to town, so if there's anything else you want me to bring back, you better give there's me. There's nothing bit. more I want you to bring back, Jed. But there's something I want you to take with you. Take with me? What's that, Abby? Rusty, that's what. I can't stand that dog around here another minute. I won't have him here. Put a rope on him and take him with you. Ma. You don't really mean it. Yes, I do mean it. He's going, and that's that. Well, see here, Abby, that dog and Johnny's like they was always together. Well, you can't part them now. Forget about Rusty. He'll no, soon be... No, that dog's going back. Jed, you get that money back and see that you bring it to me, too. But, Abby, the man who sold him to me was just passing through town. Came in a prayer schooner for supplies. He drove on that morning. Then take him back to town and give him away. And you can leave right now. We'll have no collie around here. But, Abby... Go along. Take him back to town and make sure you leave him there for good. Oh, oh please, let him stay. He likes me. Jed... Do as I say. Yes, dear. Come on, fella. <laughs> I want to keep him. <laughs> Why can't I? Why? <laughs> because I say so, that's why. And stop bellering, young man, or I'll give you something to cry about. We're not having any dogs around this spread, and that's that. Later in town, Dan Reed, the 14-year-old nephew of the Lone Ranger, stood at the hitch rack in front of the general store putting supplies in his saddlebags when Jed Miller reined up. Oh, oh there, fellow. Steady. <laughs> Golly, that's sure a nice-looking collie, mister. Hello, boy. That's right, son. He's a fine dog. Uh, what's his name? The man I got him from said his name was Rusty. Here, Rusty. Here, boy. Nice oh, dog. Oh, oh, nice oh. dog. <laughs> he knows his name all right. Mm-hmm. Bet you'd like to have a dog like that now, wouldn't you, son? Oh, golly, yes. But you see, well, here, I... hold this rope a minute, will you? Well, sure. You keep him, son. He's all yours. And take good care of him. Hey, hey, wait, mister. I... Golly. I tried to tell him I couldn't keep you, Rusty. I guess the best thing to do is take you to camp with me. Lone Ranger will know what to do with you. Easy, Victor. Steady. Oh, 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 Rusty. Come on, Victor. A short time later, Dan arrived at the camp, which he shared with the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Oh, oh, Victor, oh, boy, oh, steady, boy. <laughs> Tired, Rusty. Dan, where'd you get the collie? A man in town gave him to me, sir. Gave him to you? Dan, you know we can't I know. Keep a... I tried to tell him. Then he asked me to hold the rope a minute. He mounted his horse real quick, told me the dog was mine, and rode away fast before I could stop him. <laughs> well, I guess there was nothing else to do but to bring the dog here. Tired, aren't you, old fellow? Huh? He's a fine-looking collie. His name's Rusty. Uh, what can we do with him? Well, it looks like his owner wants to get rid of him. We'll take him to the mission. The Padre will take care of him. Tie the end of the rope to that sapling. Then you can get him some food. All right. Come on, Rusty. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh, oh,
I guess Dan missed you in town, Toto. Uh, me go near cafe. Me hear men talk. Them make trouble, seemed like. What did you hear? Well, me stand at back. Two men at bar. Them not notice. One tall, dark man. Him named Marty. Other, him stocky, heavy set man. And this time, Jake, the lady Miller practically ran me off the place with a gun. Said she finally found a receipt I gave her father before he died. If that's the case, Marty, you might as well forget it. You'll never collect. Listen, I did give the old man a receipt, but I never returned the note he signed. That's what I was trying to collect on again. If something happened to that receipt, I could still collect $5,000 or get part of that spread. But if you got the 5,000 ones, how can you expect to I get it? I just told you. I still hold that note. I'd like to get back at that woman for acting so smart with me anyway. What you planning to do? Now, come on in the other room. We'll get Red and Joe. Then I'll tell all of you what we'll do. It'll soon be dark and the Miller hands will be coming to town. Seeing that it's Saturday. <laughs> we'll have plenty of time to carry out my plans without anyone stopping us. Then, them go in back room, closed door. Me not hear more. They're uh, planning trouble at the Miller spread tonight, you know. Ah, that's right. Sun go down now. Maybe them on way to Miller Ranch already. Yes. I know where that ranch is, Tonto. We'll ride over there right now. Come here, Silver. You leave me, sir? Yes, Dan. Steady. Easy, big fella. You wait here for us. Yes, sir. And we, we don't be long, Dan. Oh, Silver. Get him up, scout. sun had already set when Marty Collins, with his three friends, reined up at the entrance to the short trail into the Miller Ranch. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. oh, boy. A bunch of cowpokes we passed on the trail going into town were from the Miller spread. So I'm sure we won't have any trouble. Suppose some of them should come back for something, Marty. They won't. But just to be on the safe side, Jake, we'll leave Red and Joe here to watch. They can hide in that clump of cottonwoods there and watch the trail. Good idea. You ride on in with me, Jake. Now remember, boys, if anyone turns in here, it's up to you to keep them from going any further. You understand? We'll keep them from going in, Marty. We'll shoot first and talk afterwards. Yes, you know what to do, then. Come on, Jake. We'll ride to the ranch house. Get up there, Mark. Get up here. Come on. Meantime, in the ranch house living room, Abigail Miller was discussing a now familiar subject with her husband, Jed. Land sakes, next thing you know, you'll be bringing him home a coach and four with gold trappings for that boy. Cried himself plumb to sleep over that collie dog. It's your fault for bringing it home. Oh, now, Abby, all I've heard about since I got back from town is that dog. I've been trying to forget the poor thing. The way you whined to stay with Johnny and all. Oh, now you're trying to say it's all my fault. Is that it, Jed Miller? Oh, no, dear. I didn't say that. So, now you as much as call me a liar. I declare how I come to marry such a spineless Jack Mule as you, Jed Miller, I'll never know. I must have been out of my mind. Yes, dear. Oh, now you insinuate I was an idiot when we got married, is that it? No, dear. What I meant was I must have been out of my mind when we got married. Why, Jed Miller, sitting there insulting me like that, I ought to take this now, room and then... Now, now, calm down, Abby, calm down. Let's forget the whole thing, dear. Well, all right. But if you ever go bringing a dog home I again, I will... won't, dear. If you do, I'll... Reach you, Joe, don't move. Good day, a couple of hours. A hold-up. Come on, Jake. Uh, we'll get what we came after. Sure. Just keep them covered with your gun. I'll get them tied up. One of you sounds familiar. If you didn't have them bandanas over your faces, I... Shut up. I you don't... talk too much. Tie them good and tight, Jake. Then we'll turn this place inside out till we find what we came for. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had left Dan in camp and were on their way to the Miller Ranch. The entrance to the Miller spread is just a short distance ahead, Tonto. Ah. You think Tonto's there already, Kimasabi? You'll soon find out. Ah, not right. Maybe you'd better go push him. Oh, 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 Moonlight makes us a perfect target, Tonto. Someone shot from that clump of trees right ahead. Ah. Get going back down the trail if you know what's good for you. I saw a movement in the shadows to the right. Ah. He sees something, too. All right, you hombres. We're not waiting. Come on, Silver. Get him up to the count. Come on, Silver. Get him up to the count. Oh, 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 Silver. Steady. Easy, big fella. Hello. Hello. Be all right. Be all right, Kimasabi. The bullet creased your head. I can't leave you here. I'll have to wait. Be all right now. Well, it just brings me. We ride. We get outlaws. Are you sure you're all right? Ah. Steady, big fella. We'll get those men for that. Come on, Silver. Get them up, Scout. Bring around the left, Tonto. Ah. Oh, we give up, mister. Don't shoot again. Who's over? Oh, Who? Throw down those guns. Please, mister, don't shoot no more. My arm. My arm's busted. I can't stand it. We'll see, steady, big fella. Stop yelling. Let's have a look at the wound. Oh, Scout. Oh, fella. Oh, fella. All right, get their guns, Tonto. Ah. Uh. Uh, me get them. Keep an eye on them. You. Hold still. Oh. Have to tear the sleeve back a little oh. bit. Shut up your yell and you're not killed. My, my whole arm is, is numb. Uh, let's see. The bullet just burned you. That's all. My man, your arm's not broken. Oh. Hand me the canteen, Tonto. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thanks, Kimasabi. Uh, I'll have to use your bandana. Yeah. Sure. We'll wash and bandage the wound, and it'll be all right. What are you going to do with this? Oh, we'll tie you up and leave you here for a little while. You didn't tie me. I, I couldn't. Shut up. Stand still a minute. All right. You'll both be tied. Sorry. Yeah. This will fix you. Uh, here. Here, rope. Me tie him up. Good. Make it fast, Toto. Got to get to the ranch house. All right. It took but a few moments for the Lone Ranger and Tonto to finish dressing the wound and tie their prisoners. But in the meantime, Marty and Jake were hard at work in the ranch house. They looked in every closet, poked into drawers and cupboards, went through chests and boxes. They looked for loose boards in the floors and walls, loose bricks in the fireplaces. They looked in the stove, beneath the furniture, in the mattresses and bedding, everywhere, searching for the receipt of which Abigail Miller had spoken. Now, you hombres have saved yourself a lot of trouble if you'd listen to me. We got no time to listen. But, Dad, read it all. I told you we got no gold around here. I'll swear to it if that would help any. You're tearing up this place so I'll never get it back in order. A lot we care about the order. Here, Jake, look in this box. Turn it upside down. Right. See, it's not there. There's nothing there but some old souvenirs and stuff. I got no gold here. Shut up. We know what we're looking for. Hey, Marty, did you look in all the pots and pans? Sure. How about these cups and things on the shelf? I looked in them. Yeah. They have overlooked this teeth, huh? There's not gold in there. No? Well, you act like there was something in here. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> what? What do you got? Hey, look here, Jake. Maybe this is it. Unfold well, it. Let's see. That's nothing but a receipt. Yeah. <laughs> a receipt, Jake. Take a look. Abby, why do you suppose Jake, that's all? That receipt. That's what they've been looking for. <laughs> it sure is. That answers it, Jed. Now I know who that tall one is. He's Marty Collins himself. Marty Collins? Sure it is. Can't deny it, can you, Collins? No. Maybe I won't even try to deny it. Now that she's tagged you, Marty, what about it? You'll have to take steps. 
So you think you know me, eh, Mrs. Miller? You bet I know you. And just as soon as I get the chance and get loose from here, I'll tell the sheriff. Yeah? She'll do it too, Marty. Mm -hmm. I reckon she would. Well, that would be good. Shoot. Uh, Marty, you hear that? Gunplay. I hear it. The boys must have sighted someone. Yeah. We better clear out of here pronto. Kyle, come back here with that receipt. Watch out, Abby. You're knocking over the table. Come back here. Here I... Oh. Oh. Hey, the lamp. Wait. I'm tired. We'll be burned to death. Wait. Ranch house is just ahead. Ah. Whatever those men are up to, we'll soon find out. Something's happened. Oh, Silver, the monk's out. Two men run around side a house. Yes, we've got to get them. You stop one, other run to horse. Oh, Silver, oh, steady. He's a big fella. Attend to that one, Tuttle. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold Get going. No, you don't. Get off that horse. Let, let go or I'll... You what? I'll get you. It's the last thing I do. There's your chance. Uh, uh, mask owl, huh? Well, we'll see Listen, who shut you up. Oh. What's the matter, Tonto? Look. He keeps playing from Pump Window Ranch House. Fire. Come on. Huh? Someone's inside. We've got to get to them. Help. Watch out, Kimasabi. I'm going in for them. And they come too. <laughs> we'll, we'll get you out. Bring the man, Toto. Take it easy, man. You'll be all right. The smoke. We'll make it all right. Just keep quiet. There. Oh. Are you all right? Yes. Yes, we almost got burned to death. Jed. Where's Jed? Him here. Let him be all right. We'll untie you. Nothing we can do to save the ranch house. I don't know who you are, stranger, but... Abby, we forgot Johnny. He's sleeping in the back bedroom. He'll be burned. Johnny, my boy. Is your boy still in there? Yes, Johnny. He'll be burned alive. No one could get into him now. We've got to get him out somehow. Flame was pretty bad now. You'll not find way through. I've got to. What was that? The dog. He's running into the house. Come on, Toto. Huh? I'll tie my neckerchief over my nose. Here, wait, here's the door. Be ready to help, Toto. Huh? It's not good. I can't see. I knew where to go. I could... <coughs> Gotta get that boy out. The dog is trying to drag the boy with him. Here, let me help, old fella. Easy, we'll soon be outside. Take it easy, son. You're not very heavy. Watch out, all right. This way, Kim, All right. Go away. All right, son. Wait just oh. a minute. Just lie still. Johnny! There, Johnny! Are you all right? Yes, Mom. I guess so. Oh, head in the bed for that masked man. I've always been caught. I, I couldn't have found Johnny in there. If it hadn't been for your dog, Mrs. Miller. But we don't have Look a dog. Look there, Abby. It's Rusty, the collie I brought by home last week. He came back. He came back to me. Uh, still has a bit of rope tied to him. Looks as though he chewed the end of it to get loose. Yes, that's what he did, all right. I gave him to a nice-looking boy in town, but I guess Rusty already had a strong liking for Johnny. So he chewed himself loose and come back, just in time, too. You say you gave him away? Yes, that's right. Mama wouldn't let us keep him. Uh, I can't imagine anyone wanting to give away a fine collie like that. But if you still want to get rid of him, I know where he'll find a good home. Golly, from the I... looks of things, we aren't going to have a home. But then, I always did want a new ranch house. We'll move into the bunkhouse till it's built, Abby. I'll decide that when the time comes, Jed. I'm deciding it right here and now. I declare, Jed Miller, them flames the must have... The flames didn't have anything to do with it. It was that dog and what he'd done that made me wake up, Abby. You turned him out. And yet he come back and saved our boy. But see here, You Jedi. see here, Abigail Miller. 
I'm running things after the new ranch house is built. In fact, I'm running them from now on. And one thing I'm telling you is Rusty is staying here. He's Johnny's own dog. Of course, Jed. I want him to stay. Don't I, Dad? Golly, Mom. <laughs> Maybe we not need it now, Kimasami. Too bad there was nothing to do to save the house. Oh, uh, we'll take those crooks to town and turn them over to the sheriff. You mean you caught them? Yes, that's right. Uh, crooks uh, tied to uh, near Corral. Two more yonder. One of them's Marty Collins. I know that. And tell the sheriff he saw back a receipt he gave my father for a loan payment. Oh, uh, perhaps this is it. He had it in his hand. Look. That's it, all right. Thanks, stranger. That's all right. Come along, Toto. Uh -huh. Okay. Rusty acts like he knows that man. Thanks. Sakes, we don't know who he is after all he did for us. Come on, we'll ask him. Oh, wait a minute, mister. We want to know who you are. Does it matter? Take good care of Rusty, Johnny. Dog well worth owning. But tell us who Ryan, is. Good luck. I bet Rusty knows who he is. If he could only talk, he could. Dad. I know. That man called that horse Silver. And he wears a mask. Golly, he's the Lone Ranger. I'm The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>